What's up, guys? Jay Lula here from More Pack Crackers. It is two for Tuesday, and I got two packs of Vicoria Layer of Behemoths, both with a prickly little marmoset upon them. We're going to open it up, see what we got. I'm going to go through the commons. If you're not familiar with uh, two for Tuesday, I go through the commons and the uncommons pretty quickly. Talk about any rares or mythics I got. And uh, leave you with a topic to talk about in the comments below. We've got Blade Banish. Remember to pause to read about these if, if need be. Capture Sphere. Dranith Stinger. Survivor's Bond. Blitz Leech. Cloud Piercer Piercing Clouds. Coordinated Church. Migratory Great Horn. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. Comic book art. I like the Snapdax comic book art is really awesome. Gloom Peng Pangolin Pangolin Pangalan Pangalan Clash of what? Clash of the Titan the Clash of Titans not Clash of the Titans because that is copyrighted. But Clash of Titans is my first uncommon. I think that's okay. I guess I was thinking that's really expensive for a fight card, but I guess you don't have to use your creatures to fight, so you could have target player have two of his creatures fight and they both die you could have target player a and target player b and they fight and whatever catch your crystal and my last uncommon boon of the wish giver and my rare mythic is a rare yo ryan sky nomad three and two mana of either a white or blue has companion your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size now if you're not familiar with companion it started out really good, but then Wizards nerfed it. Normally, uh, this would start the game in Exile. And any time you could play the mana cost to bring it out, essentially giving you an extra card in your hand. Um, but then they changed it where you have to pay, I think, three. It's either three or the mana cost to put it in your hand, and then you can only play it from your hand. So kind of, kind of got nerfed there. But anyway... Uh, also, it has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield being of your next inset. Pretty good for, like, a, uh, ooh, foil of scoured barons. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, it's not bad for, like, uh, a blink deck or enters the battlefield type of mechanic. If you have a lot of cards, that would be nice for that. Anyway... It's legendary, so you can't have two of them out there, so that's kind of sad. But anyway, back to that. Uh, we got a Helica Glider, Nightmare Squirrel. That is absolutely a nightmare. It has six legs. What's it doing with six? Come on, dude. You're a squirrel, you're fast, you're cunning, you're, you're agile. You'll need six damn legs. Capture Sphere, Lava Serpent, Bushmeat Poacher. Eh, I, I never eat the bushmeat. Put that. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that what I meant to say? Anyway, Evolving Wilds, moving on. Memory Leak, uh, Essence Scatter, Sed McKinnon, boop. Uh, greater Sandworm, the greatest, perhaps, of Sandworms. Pacifism, perhaps. Uh, okay, I'm going to, hold on. I mean, let me put this aside, because this might be my topic for today. Uh, Regal Leosaur, a comic book artwork, is my first uncommon. Second uncommon, Avian Oddity. That, that is quite odd. I'm not sure how that thing flies, but okay. Last in common, Bastion of Remembrance. I've seen this so many times in Arena uh, coupled with Witch's Oven and Cauldron's Familiar. Whatever the whatever the 1-1 one, one cat is that whenever it end, dies, you get a food and you can sack food to bring it back. I've seen that so many times. So many times. And it hurts every time. But anyway, next... Could it be Mythic? Could it be Myth? Oh, it is. Luminous Broodmoth. Two and two whites for a 3-4 insect flying. Whenever this creature, con whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter upon it. Not too shabby. That's, uh, if you get the Godzilla version of it, uh, it's Mothra. But my topic today uh, is pa pacifism. pa 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 pa, -pa. It's pacifism. Tell me your favorite pacifism artwork. There has been anywhere from uh, 3 to 8 billion different artworks for pacifism. I really do like the giant in, I think it was Throne of Eldraine, maybe? 
It was like a giant dude, and he had two pigs hanging from him, which I'm assuming he was going to eat later because he's a giant and he eats pigs. Uh, that was pretty cool, but I really like the uh, one I grew up on, the one I started magic with. It was a it looked like some kind of a um, tribal type of dude with a little little goopy like little squirrel or something on his shoulder, and in the uh, and it's also one of my favorites, not only favorite artwork but also one of my favorite uh, flavor texts, uh, where it says for the first time in his life, Grack, G R A A K. Grack felt all warm and fuzzy inside. Something to that nature. But anyway, that's my favorite artwork for, for pacifism. Tell me your favorite pacifism artwork. Is it this one? Is it the giant with the two pigs? Is it the one from Tarkir? One of the Tarkir sets had had a pacifism. I can't remember what it looked like. It was like a dragon involved. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in every Tuesday for two packs. Thursdays for giveaways, maybe. And every other weekday for more pack crackers. Later, guys.